Hello, teacher. Hello, students. Welcome to a new unit on relations. We have studied the nature of relations in previous grades. In this unit, we will revise our knowledge of relations and functions. We will learn additional types of functions and their classifications. We will also learn about inverse functions and their graphs. I am eager to begin this unit, students. If you are ready, we will get started. First, let us review what we have already learned about relations. A relation is a set of ordered pairs given two sets called A and B, a relation from A to B is defined as any subset of A cross B. A relation on A is any subset of A cross A. Let R be a relation from A to B. In that case, the domain of R is X is an element of A such that X is R related to Y for some Y that are elements of B. The range of R equals Y is an element of B, such that Y is R related to X for some X that are elements of A. Today, we will study the inverse of a relation. This concept is explained by the following definition. Let R be a relation from A to B. The inverse of R, denoted by R to the power of negative 1, is a relation from B to A, given by R to the power of negative 1, equals the set of BA such that A is R related to B. Let us try a simple example. Let A equal the set of 1, 2, and 3. Let B equal the set of 4 and 5. How can we give the inverse of the relation R equals the ordered pairs 1, 4, 1, 5, and 2, 5? If A is R related to B, that means B is inversely R related to A. Thus, the inverse of R equals the ordered pairs 4, 1, 5, 1, and 5, 2. It is time for an activity, students. Let X be R related to Y, such that Y equals X minus 2. Working in pairs, try to find the inverse of R. Students, let's get ready. <laughs> Begin. Time's up. Let's get back to our lesson. 
Welcome back, students. Were you able to find the inverse of R? Let us look at the solution together. In relation R, the second coordinate is the first coordinate minus 2. The inverse of R equals the ordered pair yx such that x is r related to y. This is equal to the ordered pair xy such that y is r related to x. Therefore, the ordered pair of xy is such that x equals y minus 2. Notice that the first coordinate is the second coordinate minus 2. We can thereby solve for y. The inverse of r equals the ordered pair x, y. is y equals x. Now it is time for another activity. Given the relation r equals x, y, such that y equals x cubed, can you graph this relation? Then, can you calculate the inverse of the relation and graph that as well. Take a few minutes to try to do this now. Students, let's get ready. <laughs> Begin. Time's up. Let's get back to our lesson. Hello again, students. I hope you did not have too much trouble with this activity. You might have used a table of values to plot the graph of the relation. If you did, you discovered points at negative 3, negative 27, and negative 2, negative 8, and negative 1, negative 1, and 0, 0, 
and one one and two eight and three twenty seven. Therefore, the graph of y equals x cubed looks like this. Now we must determine the inverse of the relation. The inverse of r equals xy such that x equals y cubed. Therefore, if we make a table of values, the values of x and y will be transposed. The coordinates of the inverse of r are negative 27, negative 3, and negative 8, negative 2, and negative 1, negative 1, and 0, 0, and 1, 1, and 8, 2, and 27, 3. The graph of the inverse relation should look like this. Teacher, please check the students' graphs after the lesson to be sure that we all understand inverse relations. That is all for this lesson. Today we have revised our understanding of relations and learned about inverse relations. Until next lesson, thank you teacher, thank you students.